lesson is about number line and absolute value. Let us start by defining what is a number line. A number line is a visual representation of numbers on a straight line. As you observe, we have here a horizontal line. And on both ends of it, we have an arrow, which means we can still extend the line. A number line has zero. Zero, which is neither positive nor negative. Numbers to the right of zero are all positive, and numbers to the left of zero are all negative. So let us use this by answering this activity. From the given direction, we need to determine the location of the following points on a number line. So as you observe, we have five different points. We have point A, point B, point C, point D, and point E. So let us start locating it. For number one, we have point A. And point A is on negative seven. How about point B? That's correct, it's on negative four. How about point C? It's right, it's on zero. Point D? That's right, it's on one. Now, are we going to write positive one? Well, since it's positive, we can just simply write it as one. How about on number five? Point E? That's correct. It's on positive 6. Now let us have another activity. From the given direction, determine the distance of the following points on a number line. So again, it is not just the location but the distance that we are going to find. Number 1, point E from 0. Means to say we're going to start from 0 until we reach point E. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the answer in here will be 6 or 6 units. Next, for number 2, point A from B. Therefore, we're going to start from B until we reach point A. So let us start counting. One, two, three. So we have here three units. And on number three, point B to D. So we are going to start from B until we reach D. So let us try to count. One, two, three. Four, five. So we have here five units. Notice that we are not writing if it's positive or negative because we are just counting the distance. Now let us have another example. So as you observe, we're going to determine the distance of the following. So for number one, distance from house to church. House is on zero and church is on negative four. So let us try to count the distance. One, two, three, four. And so the answer is four. From zero to the left, we have four units. For number two, Distance from house to school. We will start from zero because that is the location of the house. So let us count. One, two, three, and four. So its distance from zero to the right is also four. See, observe, we have similar answers, but their directions are different. The church is on the left side and the school is on the right side. 
Another example. In here, we're going to find the distance of house to market and house to hospital. So again, the house is on zero. The market is on positive six and the hospital is on negative six. So let us try to count first its distance from house to market. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the answer is six. Next one, the distance from house to hospital. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And so the answer is also six. This is what absolute value is all about. The market is on positive six and the hospital is on negative six, but their distance from the house is both six units. So let us now define the absolute value. Absolute value describes the distance of a number from zero without considering which direction from zero the number lies. Just like on the given example, regardless if it's to the left, to the right, upward or downward, as long as we count its distance from zero, then that will be the absolute value. Examples. Find the absolute value of the following for number one. Absolute value of six. So again, this is the distance of the given point from zero. So if we count from zero, we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So the answer in here will be 6. For number 2, the absolute value of negative 6. So again, that will be its distance from 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the answer is also 6. Number 3, the absolute value of 4. Again, this is the distance from 0. 1, 2, 3, 4. So the answer will be four and for number four the absolute value of negative four so one two three four and so our answer will be four notice that our answer has no sign of positive or negative since we are looking for the distance of the given points from zero Next one, find the absolute value of the following. So for number one, the absolute value of five, we will just imagine that we're going to count its distance from zero. And therefore, the answer will be five. Next, the absolute value of negative three. So again, just imagine its distance from zero. That will be 3 units to the left, so the answer will be 3. Next, on number 3, notice that there is an operation. However, we must need to find first the absolute value before we perform the operation, which is addition. So the absolute value of negative 6 is 6. Plus, the absolute value of negative 7 which is 7. Therefore, our answer in here will be 13. Next, the absolute value of 10 is 10 minus the absolute value of negative 6 and the absolute value of negative 6 is 6. So 10 minus 6, the answer is 4. I hope you learned. Thank you.